Sehr geehrte Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer, Dear ladies and gentlemen, as you might have heard in the news, the Ukrainian Ministry of Internal Affairs announced on Easter weekend that under the Geneva Agreement they would cease their so-called anti-terror campaign against pro-Russian activists in eastern Ukraine. The Western media willfully hides from us the fact that Kiev intentionally broke this same agreement. This commentary will show you some examples. On Easter Sunday, at least five people were killed in an armed attack on a pro-Russian activist group in Slovansk. Russian television has documented the use of munition, which turned out to be a brand specifically used by an ultra-nationalistic group of Ukrainians. They also have detailed aerial photographs of the military post after the shooting, which identify the perpetrators of this attack. In the Russian news, the Russian foreign minister expressed his outrage that Ukraine's interim government in Kiev grossly violated the Geneva Agreement intended to help solve the crisis, which they also signed. They said Kiev was even continuing to arrest and violate the rights of journalists instead of the promised amnesty, which included the release of Southeast activists such as Governor Paul Gubarev. Almost completely hidden from the public, the editor-in-chief of the newspaper Glagol, Konstantin Dolgov, was arrested on Holy Saturday. He was also the coordinator for the Southeast Movement in Kharkov. On Holy Saturday, a group of plain-clothed men suddenly surrounded him in the open and forced him to come with them. They drove to and searched through his home. Afterwards, he was brought to the police station. Neither journalists nor activists who had come to support him were allowed to enter the police station. Afterwards, Konstantin Dolgov was brought into a detention center to stay there for two months, paying a deposit of 609,000 grivni, which is around $50,000. On April 20th, the editorial staff of Glagol commented on their website about this arrest. Quote, it is amazing how fast and at what time the editor-in-chief of Glagol has been arrested. Neither the judges, nor the public prosecution authorities, nor the staff of the interim government have taken into account the Easter festivities. They only try to quickly execute their political order. Dear ladies and gentlemen, doesn't this arrest of Dolgov have to be understood as a willful violation of the Geneva Agreement? Isn't Russia's criticism right concerning Ukraine's gross violations against the Geneva Agreement? Lavrov explained on Monday, quote, the most important thing today is not to allow any violence at all. This is the first and utmost demand on all who are involved in the present confrontation in Ukraine. Yet, concerning this, as well as other questions, the agreements reached in Geneva are not only not respected, they are grossly abused. First and foremost, this applies to those who have come to power in Kiev die in Kiew an die Macht gekommen sind. Dear ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned with us to critically follow what's happening and what the media is reporting on. Only mature alertness can rescue us from wrong conclusions and from traveling down wrong paths. A good evening to you.